Hello. Yes, hi. Look, oh my god. Okay, I don't know if you remember Harley, but uh, she was in my uh, I Have Made Fire video, which that was the last video I did, I think, for YouTube. Um, she's freaking out right now because she's, she's gotten so big, so she's, you know, she's so used to being able to run around and do things, so, okay, go play, go play. Um, so, it's been, uh, oh, she's back. It's been so long since I've done one of these. I think it's been like, I don't know, like three months. Um, I feel more comfortable doing them at home because, well, in my dorm room, it's kind of hard to, um, make a video without being interrupted or being disturbed by extremely obnoxious sounds coming, you know, from all over the place. So, they're a little bit easier to do at home, especially when I'm home alone during the day. Um, so, we're going to talk about, um, possibly two things, but first we're going to cover this. Uh, a little over a week and a half ago, I know this is kind of late, but this is when I, you know, finally decided to do something. She is just too much. I finally decided to do this. So, a little over a week and a half ago was the 84th Annual Academy Awards, and, well, let's just say that it was full of surprises, some some disappointments, and, on my part, probably one of the best nights of my life. Um, but before we get to that, um, so the artist won Best Picture, along with Best Director, uh, Best uh, uh, best Actor, and two other awards that I don't remember what they were. Uh, Midnight in Paris won Best Original Screenplay, A Separation was... Apparently it was pretty controversial that uh, Iran um, won Best Foreign Language Film. Um, as once again we know, Bridesmaids lost both of its Academy Award nominations, which is kind of sad, but it was expected, you know. Hugo, like, swept every technical award there was. It was, like, ridiculous, which kind of brings me to my disappointment a little bit in visual effects. I mean, I know um, it was a 3D film, but, I mean, come on. Harry Potter was so snubbed. It's, it became the most snubbed Oscar, the most snubbed film series to ever be at the Oscars. Like, it has lost pretty much every Academy Award it was nominated for. And, like, if you think about it, that's a lot, you know? And so I'm, it was really, I was really very upset to not see at least Harry Potter go home with one of its three awards. But, you know, it's the Oscars. We can't really control it. Um, so, uh, next, Octavia Spencer for The Help. She won Best Supporting Actress, no surprise. Christopher Plummer won Best Supporting Actor, no surprise there. As I said, Michelle won for Best Director. Uh, he, The artist, I still want to see that so bad. Uh, the Iron Lady, we're getting to that. Um, it won Best Makeup, Roy Helland, and the other guy, I don't really remember what his name was. Um, Roy Helland, who is uh, pretty much... One of Meryl Streep's closest friends and colleagues has been working together for like 30 years since Sophie's Choice. Which brings me to the Best Actress category. Uh, now, as some of you know, um, my reaction was posted on YouTube. Um, if you haven't seen it, I, I suggest you do. Skip ahead to about like 4... 4.55. Um, because like the first four minutes is just like them going to the nominees and stuff. Uh, and but and uh, so it really gets my reaction. It's called Ridiculous Reaction to Meryl, Meryl Streep winning the Oscar. I suggest you see it. I was just so shocked. Like, I didn't even, I didn't expect this to happen. Like, I was so convinced. Like, if, if you see the video or if you've seen it, you just see me. I sit there and I'm just like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Because I was so convinced that Viola Davis was going to take it home. Like, everybody was saying, critics were saying, my friends were basically telling me to prepare myself for it because I love Meryl Streep. And so I was prepared for another loss. It, had been, it has been exactly 30 years since she won the Oscar for Sophie's Choice. And there was, you know, quite a few nominations in between there. I mean, 17 nominations, more than any other actor in Academy history. Any actor. But... When Colin Firth finally was like, and the Oscar goes to Meryl Streep. <laughs> I freaked out. I was so happy. Like, I don't think you understand how happy I was. But, you know, that's it. And Jean Dujardin uh, went home with um, Best Actor. So t this year was just probably one of the best Oscar uh, ceremonies since um, I think Hugh Jackman hosted. Hugh Jackman's was just incredible. I loved the whole musical numbers and stuff. And Billy Crystal, you know, he's pretty much this... Um, uh, in recent years, he's the new Bob Hope when it comes to hosting the Oscars. Bob Hope hosted for many, many years, and 
he's Billy Crystal's the new Bob Hope. Like honestly, when it comes to hosting the Oscars, he's just ingenious. His comedic timing is wonderful. He's so just he's very charismatic. He interacts with the crowd, you know. And some hosts are just kind of awkward, but you know, it's it's absolutely wonderful, and I loved it so. I was really happy with all the winners, and, you know, there were really no shockers besides Best Actress. I was just so shocked. I was floored, but yet extremely excited. So that's all I'm going to talk about today, because uh, this is getting kind of long, and I don't want to lose your interest. And so, uh, but again, check out my reaction. It's called Ridiculous Reaction to Meryl Streep winning the Oscar. I'm going to post the title under this uh, video so that you can go watch it. Maybe get me some more views. Who knows? Maybe I'll be on Ellen DeGeneres. That'd be exciting, wouldn't it? <laughs> no. That won't happen. But, um, you know, awesome. All right. And uh, my next video, I'm going to talk about a hot button issue that's been going on a lot. Uh, you've been seeing it all over my wall, but we'll get to that next time. All right. See you guys later. Bye.